Uh, agreement has been that the government of India has stepped in uh, in order to solve certain problems uh, concerning the election system and some uh, reforms to be made in the government and this is going to be done in, in, in conjunction with uh, the government of Sikkim, the various parties and the government of India in some sort of a conference uh, to be held sometime in mid-May where we hope all the problems that are existent at the moment will be solved in some way or another to, some sort of, to everyone's satisfaction. Uh, they, the Chogyal of Sikkim has asked the government of India to take over the administration for the time being um, under uh, the treaty and uh, letters of exchange where the government of India does come in uh, in order to help us in our administration and uh, in the restoration of law and order. I am not sure about this, but I would, I would think so very much because uh, he is uh, in many ways uh, involved in, in the government and his advice would be valuable on this matter. But, um, I wouldn't really say confined as such, it was more for, it was we were advised not to venture out for our own safety and protection. That it was just that one did not want to take any risks. And uh, since the army had taken over, in order to make things easier for the army and to enable um, law and order to be uh, replaced as soon as possible, uh, we were asked to uh, stay in if possible. That was from when, about from demonstrators? Or? Um, I don't think the royal family was in any real danger. Uh, the mob as such, uh, the majority, was uh, not really against the royal family. I think it was, uh, they had some cause for some sort of grievance. And it was through their frustration that many didn't really understand the difference between the Chogyal and the government. The shortage of food in Gyantok. Uh, the shortage of food came in uh, from the demonstrator side and the Indian army did feed the demonstrators. Uh, this was partly done in order to uh, prevent any repercussions of people who are hungry, which might lead them to loot or uh, lead them to violent action in order to s get food. So the Indian Army has uh, fed them with this food and I think this was uh, the main reason why some radio reports said that uh, there was, Gantok was running short of food. It was uh, mainly the demonstrators. Uh, the present situation is, is a little difficult. Uh, uh, I think it is at the moment very much up to both the government of India and who deal with our foreign affairs and you will have to get an exit permit from India in order to get into Sikkim and as soon as you can get an exit permit from India to get into Sikkim I'm sure that uh, you will be able, any foreign journalist will be able to come in. What about this about uh, the telephone call that had come from my friend from Cambridge. Uh, he t telephoned me from London. Do you go back to Cambridge now? Or? Yes, I go back to Cambridge now. Studying. Yes. Which college? Uh, in Trinity. Uh, as far as this matter is concerned, I'm not sure exactly what she, what she said um, and in exact reference to what I'm not so certain 
so I wouldn't be able to tell you because uh, as far as my loin, this is uh, entirely untrue. Um, I was in fact uh, surrounded and in some way harassed by a crowd of about a thousand people who tried to block my way uh, while going back to the capital uh, whereupon I had to break through a barrier and I was driving at the time and uh, it was not possible at all for me to even uh, look back but my security men under extreme provocation uh, fired uh, two shots at uh, two persons who were about to throw some sort of stones or something at the car so being security man he was concerned for my security and he f justifiably fired two shots no serious injury has occurred and these people are now recovering in our hospital in Ganto. That was on the way to Ganto from If not to her then I shall do it through the foreign secretary who is with whom I came over today from Ganto. Uh, to deliver to the Prime Minister with the report he has on the situation there. I'm close to the palace, but most demonstrations, there is a so, some sort of a, a route which most demonstrations take place. Um, demonstrations r rarely take place in Sikkim, and on the few occasions that it has taken place, there is some round route uh, below the palace where people generally march uh, and this is where they marched and you know what is uh, now the power of the Chogyal really depends on the people of Sikkim the times are changing and we must also move with the change of time uh, if the people want the Chogyal to have so much power, the Chogyal will have this much power. It is really up to the people. But at the present stage, we feel the majority of the people want the Chogyal to retain the powers that he has at the moment. And the government of India's interest and wish is that uh, the present status quo, which is what the majority of the people in Sikkim want, uh, should remain as such.